Well, another disappointing performance for Derby County. Now, after their uh, good performance at Portsmouth, it's another game where they needed a win and they drop points again. It's two points today. It was three points at Northampton. And we've now realistically lost control of automatic promotion. Obviously, Portsmouth played Bolton at the weekend. Portsmouth can win the title. So they're going to go into the game wanting to fight. But Bolton know now that they're sort of in control of this. They've got that game in hand against Shrewsbury and that just puts us on the back foot a little bit. Obviously, we could still go into that game five points clear if results go our way, but that's determining results go our way. So now let's get on to the Wickham game. Obviously, early on, we had a chance with Corey Blackett-Taylor and it just... Now, for me, I think Washington should have played it across earlier. Um, I think it should have been along the floor and not in the air. He sort of put it in a position where... Blackett Taylor sort of had to knee it in and that's why he missed kicked it and stuff and it just bobbles out of play and for me it's stupid it's very very disappointing that we come away from that game with only one sh I think it was one shot on target in like 95 96 minutes of football against Wickham Wanderers and it's very disappointing now obviously Wickham Wanderers very good side they got to the EFL trophy they were literally playing at Wembley 70 odd hours ago and putting in that performance today against a side that were playing two or three days ago at Wembley isn't good enough. They've obviously made four or five changes into the game. Obviously, Derby have Tom Barkays and back on the bench. We did um, not have Joe Ward, unfortunately, for a knee injury. Hopefully, he's back on the weekend. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in the top corner to make sure you stay tuned for all the latest League One and Derby County content. We've got a League One preview and review coming tomorrow as well as a Derby County preview for their game against Leighton Orient at Pride Park on Saturday. So make sure you've hit the subscribe button to stay around for all that content. It's It's another performance in a game where we need a win, where we drop... Northampton we needed the win and we could have gone seven points clear of Bolton today we needed the win so we could have gone uh, five points clear, no four points clear of Bolton and yet again we're dropping them points you can even go back as far as Peterborough if we win that game we go top of the league Reading if we win that game we go into automatic promotion it's it's just consistently those big games that we keep dropping now obviously today I don't think Corey Blackett Taylor was ever really on it he, he, there was times where it just didn't seem like he wanted the ball and it's really frustrating to see that because the performance he put in against Pete, not Peter, but against Portsmouth and the performance he put in against um, Blackpool and they were really good performances and then all of a sudden he comes to tonight in a must-win game and just doesn't seem to show up. Now, hopefully that's pressure lifted off Derby because at the end of the day it seems like the pressure keeps getting to us. Um Obviously, there is a long way to go still. We've got nine points to play for. Bolton have 12. I still think seven points gets us up. I think two wins and a draw gets us up. Um, but obviously, now it's really it's out of our hands because um, Bolton, being in that situation where they've got an extra game, they can afford to drop a game, really. I don't think they will. Like I think they'll probably draw with Pompey and then beat Posh on the final day. So we've got to win games now. Um, we have to win the home games for me. We have to. Like We've got Leighton Orient on Saturday. Have to win. Then we've got Cambridge away and Carlisle at home. There's our final three. Like Bolton have uh, Posh, Pompey, Shrewsbury. Uh, I don't know who the other game is. But it's like... We've got to win our games because obviously Bolton are capable of what they can do. Uh, Peterborough are very capable tonight. I think they won 4 0, 3 0, 4 0. Um, obviously, we'll have full League One review at tomorrow. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Subscribe to the channel for it as well. But it's like today just wasn't good enough for Derby. Um, I just don't think we had enough bite in midfield. I think we played too wide too much. We didn't really use our like midfielders enough. and was just a bit just a bit flat really and like I think Connor Washington had some really good moments but just struggled to really make that final chance. We didn't really punish the goalkeeper. They made a few mistakes which we should have capitalised on and we didn't. Like for me we should have been three 0 up at half time because Blackett Taylor had the chance, Washington had a chance, Mendes Lang had a chance and the the one player you'd expect to take his chance is Nathaniel Mendes Lang and obviously he didn't. Um, 
it's very unfortunate and it's like I just don't think we seem to really get going tonight and obviously you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments but for me it just didn't we just didn't seem to pass it right and we was just sort of like it was too sideways and if it wasn't sideways we was just lumping it at each other and Cashin loves that diag and there's nothing wrong with it when it comes off but when he's doing it every time he gets the ball it gets predictable and like it's been it's it's awkward it's very very awkward and the fact that we've been unable to score a goal tonight like it's not the first time this season we've failed to score and it probably I'm hoping it will be the last to be completely honest with three games to go but it's just one of those where it's for me I just don't think we were good enough tonight and Bolton will take massive confidence from that result tonight, knowing that they could go into um, they could go into the game against Shrewsbury a point ahead of us. Like if they win and we lose at the weekend, they can go in a point ahead into their game in hand, and they can end up four points clear by Saturday with two games to go. And then all of a sudden we're looking at playoffs, and I just don't think we're sort of. I think if we get in the playoffs, I think it, I don't think we'll do it. We really struggle with the playoffs. We've seen it in previous years, and I know this is a different squad. It's different management. It's even different ownership. But like the 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 pressure is still the same, and I think it then becomes must win games, and we've struggled in those this season. Now, if we came away from Pompey winning two one, we'd be laughing with that result because we'd be what five points clear. But obviously, we're not. It's another disappointing day for Derby. Paul Warren, obviously. Is a bit disappointed. He's going to be disappointed, but at what point can we now start to discuss BBC Radio Derby going in to Pride Park, not Pride Park, more form on Monday? Now, I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but at this part of the season when, like, we've got must win games and it's like they're coming in, taking up the canteen and walking around, doing interviews and things. Don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant insight, but at this point of the season, like, at least wait until we've got promoted and like I know they'll say oh, I had no impact blah de, blah de, blah but uh, BBC Radio Derby tonight I've already said that uh, Paul Warren wasn't happy with how they trained on Monday obviously the day BBC Radio Derby were in you obviously have players sitting down having conversations with them which is all well and good when it's like normal PR for pre-match and stuff but when it becomes like longer longer stuff and you've got those players around it sets sets people it makes people tense and like for me, if that was me, I was walking into work and you've got the radio fucking in front of you. Like, it, it does become a bit sort of... It changes everything. It completely changes how you act. You, the pressure's very different because then you sort of... It becomes real what you're fighting for. Now, I'm not saying that they didn't know what they was fighting for already, but for me, like... If they had turned, if they hadn't turned around and said that Paul Warren said they didn't train very well on Monday, then we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. But for me, we've come into this game, we've not looked on it. We've had eight eight days off, whereas they've had what a travel day from London and probably a day off. Um, and they looked to the better side for the most part of the game. And Bolton will take credit. Bolton will take um, pressure off themselves now. Uh, Peterborough. They'll be well up for it. Obviously, they could be level on points with us if they win both their games in hand. And obviously, other results if other results go their way, they could be above us. So it's like we could end up finishing fourth at this point and that's just a bit stupid considering where we were, where we could be. Like, at Northampton, there was one point we could have been seven points clear. And it's, it's so frustrating. It's really, really frustrating as a Derby fan to come away from this game, another game against... A team which has nothing to play for where we've not put in a performance. Now at Northampton it was the same. We could have been two or three up in the first half. But we end up conceding because we don't put our chances away. Now tonight, luckily, we do take a point. So it's an extra point on the board. We're now on, I think it's 82 uh, or 83, something like that. So, like, obviously the opportunity is still there to go up. It still is. like, But it's sort of in but not in our hands anymore. Like... Obviously, let's talk about expectations here because obviously Portsmouth could win the title at the weekend. So they're not going to go into that game and roll over for Bolton because they're not on the beach. But Bolton could also come into the game. like it. It's going to be one of those where you've got to have notifications on for all the games. You'll have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Bolton fans, Peterborough fans, Portsmouth fans, let me know your thoughts. Do you think you're going to 
get into those automatic promotion places. Portsmouth, you're going to win the title at the weekend. Like, there's a lot going on, and for me, it's disappointing. I will have um, a League One preview, League One review out, and League One preview out tomorrow. I think League One preview might be out on Friday, so keep your eyes tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, um, and I'll catch you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.